Hi, everybody. We're back to offer recommendations for books, movies, music, and more that you can check out from the Carmel Clay Public Library. I'm Catherine, and I'm joined again today by Susan. And this month, we have two books not featuring murders to share with you. So Susan, what have you been reading? Well, I've always enjoyed uh, previous books by Lisa C. And I'm so happy I picked up her most recent one called Lady Tan's Circle of Women. In this book, we meet Lady Tan, a medical doctor who lived during the Ming Dynasty. She lived well into her 90s. And in fact, her medicinal cures are still being used in China five centuries later. In her book, Miscellaneous Writings of a Female Doctor is actually the earliest known writings by a female doctor in China. After the death of her mother, Tan Yingxian is sent to live with her grandparents. She is of the elite class and is expected to learn poetry and music and embroider bound foot slippers. Yingxian is fortunate enough, though, because both of her grandparents practice medicine, and her grandmother is passionate about teaching Yingxian about med medicine for women. She teaches Yingxian the pillars of Chinese medicine, the four examinations, looking, listening, touching and asking. Yung Xian is an avid learner and relishes her new knowledge. She befriends a girl of the same age, Mei Ling, who is the daughter of a midwife and who is also in training to become a midwife herself. Yung Xian grows up and is married to a man of her same class. Her mother-in-law expects her to be the dutiful wife and give birth to many sons. She forbids Yung Xian from practicing medicine and from seeing her friend, Mei Ling. Yung Xian must find a way to help women who live within her husband's family compound called the Garden of Fragrant Delights, as well as the women outside of her compound. This is a book about women helping other women, and it's beautifully written. As always with Lisa C., I learned so much about the culture, expectations, and traditions of China. Lady Tan's Circle of Women is available in print, in regular and large type, ebook, downloadable audiobook, and audiobook CDs. What about you, Catherine? Guess what? I also read an adult fiction title featuring women and medicine. Oh, awesome. And it was also beautifully written. And I read The Covenant of Water by Dr. Abraham Verjees. And Dr. Verjees' book follows three generations of women in an Indian family. And this book spans from the 1900s to the 1970s. And as the novel begins, we meet a child bride who is preparing for her wedding day. And the groom is a 40 year old widower with a young son. And unbeknownst to her at the time, um, when she gets married, it's revealed to her after a very tragic loss that the family that she is married into is plagued by a condition that has caused several family tragedies related to drowning across the generations in the family. And we follow her and the family through the following decades through the 1970s. And you see how that condition impacts the lives of those that she loves and holds dear. And the novel deals with themes of family and tradition and grief and love and sacrifice and explores a lot of sensitive issues like colonialism and discrimination and addiction. This book is 730 pages long. Please stick with it. It looks daunting, um, but the audiobook uh, is narrated by the author and it's so gripping, it's utterly absorbing, and it is a must read. It is available in print in our digital formats through the library's website at carmelclaylibrary.org. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you all next month.